time. Here we go, it's starting. Welcome everyone to another Nintendo Direct Mini Partner Showcase. This one's the oh, September for Mostly third party one. stuff. Uh... Yeah. And yeah, release dates can obviously change. Yay! So we will finally see Bayonetta 3? I don't think so. But what do we start with? Uh? A black screen. Yeah, it's been cancelled, sorry. Wait a minute. That's a wolf. I mean, it, it looks like the wolf from Tales of Vesperia. What is it doing here? A Tales of Vesperia sequel? Repeat, I think. It's oh. man. Oh no, it's something else. Uh, is wait, is that only one? Wait, Musa? wait, 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 wait. Is this Monster no, Hunter? No, Monster Hunter. It's Monster Hunter. All right. Of course. I think it is. Oh, one. it's one of those Monster Hunter spin-offs, like the story one. Capcom basically has experimented with the franchise, and there was um, a spin-off already on the 3DS. I think it's called Monster Hunter Stories, and I guess we wanted to do something else again. I have to say, this footage looks really impressive to be on the Switch. Just got. Important letter. <laughs> That's what like happens when someone doesn't underestimate the power of the switch. Also, what's with the weird stopping in the tent? It's to create tense waves again. Uh, I mean, imagine, if, <laughs> imagine if we did our commentaries like that. Hello and welcome to the Nintendo Direct Mini. Again, waves, it's done for emphasizing with the music also. No, but out of context, it's just weird. <laughs> So it's Three, Monster it's Hunter it's... Samurai Edition, you essentially. Gotta, you gotta love that bit about how they shoot it, how they shot it like one of those old Japanese samurai films. Yeah, I guess Ghost of Tsushima really impressed Capcom in some way. Wow, I'm guessing with sales like that, a lot of people would want to start playing. Not just that, Jova, the aesthetic it. too. Again, Jova, it, it really impressed the Japanese audience, regardless of how it turned out. True that. Plus, I'm guessing this is. I'm guessing Monster Hunter now is pretty much. Uh, uh, Capcom's biggest source of every well, regular source of every Yeah, Pretty it's their, one of their main cash cows, basically. Monster Hunter Rise. Rise. Cool. Shall we go? Ooh, Elf oh, Twins. Oh no, cre creepy Elf Twins. Coming March 26, 2021. Exclamation point. <laughs> yeah. It's coming here. With a deluxe edition that gives you a rolling costume. Okay. Of course, pre-order bonuses. And doggos. And dogs. <laughs> oh, I you seriously thought I was going to do a dog watch. <laughs> in the Monster Hunter series, wherever you are and however you'd like. We've prepared oh. a trailer for another title, so please take a look. All right. What will this be? Monster Hunter Fall? <laughs> Rise and Fall. Capcom Presents. Oh, it's another. Uh, another Capcom game. So, is, is it still Monster Hunter or something else? I don't hmm. know. Wait, it looks wait. very Pokemon in its aesthetic. Oh, oh, I was right. These people are worshipping Raffalos. Oh, so it's another Monster Hunter speedo. Maybe it's the story is yeah, maybe, too. Maybe this is Monster Hunter 4. Wait, no, Monster wait. Hunter 4 was wait, already wait, wait, released. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, fall uh, as, in, as in Rise and Wait, fall. wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Is this a game where we don't kill Raffalos? Holy cow. A Monster Hunter game where you don't hunt monsters? What the, what the fuck? It's, it's, it's like, it's a like they split game. Undertale into two games. <laughs> That's like a Pokemon game where you don't capture Pokemons. Oh, oh my god! So is this yeah, a Yeah, it's clearly aimed to our younger audience. Again, it's it's very Pokemon-esque with its aesthetic. You can tell still that a lot of budget was pouring into both of these. Red. <laughs> Red and Moon. Ooh. So we're having a more traditional Monster Hunter instead of more Tales of Pokemon-esque one. Sure. Tales of Monsters. Um, is this like one where you breed monsters instead of hunt them? Oh god, an actual monster egg. Yeah, it's the video. It's a, it's a video game of the Come dragon. On, let's Monster Hunter Stories Two. Yeah, Stories Two. The Rings sequel. Of Ruin. The Stories One was on the 3DS, so yeah, it makes sense. Rings with the... of Ruin. 
so they will the, continue that. So is the so, so is the idea here that you breed monsters instead of hunting them? I actually haven't played it. It's more of an RPG. The um, how it played. What you've just seen is a first look okay i have to say regardless of what it turns out this is still a very strong start for me definitely oh well now we're getting a monster hunter direct immediately afterwards yeah oh, i guess we can goody. we can skip that one yeah I'll, 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 I'll. all right let's get started i mean it's nothing personal i'm just not really into monster hunter myself me neither Move to the Sorry, rhythm folks. with boxing ex exercises. Boxing where you can enjoy working out okay. To the oh, oh I thought, I thought for a second there, Jennifer, I thought you said move to Grab the boxing rhythm with Phoenix exercises. One, this is a Phoenix right oh, boxing God. spin this is, this is one of the, This is one of those uh, fit the game that requires extreme coordination, so it's a nightmare for me. Your instructor's yeah, outfit to provide oh, more I'm usually good with these. Workout. No, no, I can't have understand. To put so body. It's li I literally have bad, uh, not reflexes, but actual coordination for doing rapid movements. So. Ah. That looks like a good enough exercise Oh boy, game. a two-player mode. What, can you put each other in that one? <laughs> yeah, to hold hands, like in Sonic uh, Free Riders. I actually wonder who is publishing these. Uh. Nintendo. Wait, but that... That Jamaican buff dude on the left. All of them mm. have their own huh. distinct personality. Oh, goody Karen. <laughs> that's that's not a Karen. <laughs> Apologies to all legitimately good people that happen to be called Karen everywhere. Yeah. Available uh, December 4. Imagineer, Imagineer .co. I don't know this company. Mm. You can pre order it later. <laughs> Yes. Not me, but... Oh, a oh. new Disgaea game. Oh. Nice so America. Like Disgaea 6? Yep, yeah, Disgaea, Disgaea 6. 6. Defiance oh, of Destiny. I thought, I thought the series ended at 5. No, the series has some very loose continuity, but each title can stand on its own if you want. But he's not just some lowly zombie. Zed, huh? As a result of super reincarnation, he'll become stronger the more he dies. Vibrant characters full of personality also make their appearance in colossal showdowns. The beloved over the top oh, hey, Laharl. makes a triumphant return. Yep. Well, Laharl is a kind of a contract Damage thing that he has to show up in every title, at least as a cameo. Level is nearly <laughs> yeah, why don't you just take the easy way out and just be guy wearing cloak and only appear in like one second? That defies common sense, genre, and destiny. This guy is six. Defiance of Destiny. Also coming to 2021. Four hundreds of hours into it to actually grind to the decent level and feel miserable after. Oh, hey! This guy is five complete. Four, five, five complete, sorry. Was it made already or these on Switch? Um, this is the complete edition. Oh, okay. Exclusively for Nintendo Switch Online members. The game trial. In a ruthless criminal underworld. Oh, Wait, what is this, this is a uh, Mafia game. The name is Goldie. Oh, it's, I think, uh, I think it's, um, wait, no, yes, wait, I thought... Romero Games. This is, uh, and, we're gonna be no, this we, we are, are we? we already been seeing this uh, in a yep. past direct. Uh, like okay. I said, oh, it's not John, it's not John Romero. Like I said, it's a Mafia game we saw. Yeah. You know, yeah, I would, it would be hilarious if one day Square announced, oh, we're making a Die Katana the sequel. <laughs> But why not, I guess? <laughs> world is my stage and I am the Even better, it'll be a port of the N64 Yay. version. So basically, Mafia Simulator, you know, create your own clan and uh, play XCOM, I guess. So. <laughs> this is drive. Wait, this is set during the Prohibition and... era. Probably. Probably. <laughs> A terrifying Empire threat draws near in this tactical studio. Oh, Sniper Elite. Oh, this, this is the Rebellion. one where you can get the DLC oh, to kill Hitler. Oh, hey, Rebellion yes, Studios, and, our and, good and old where, friends. And, and where you can shoot people in the testicles, complete with a close-up. Yeah. Rebellion, a.k.a. the same company that owns the uh, comic line that makes Judge Dredd. Ought to be a straightforward mission, with no surprises. What could be easier? Yeah, sure. 
maybe uh, maybe there'll be a mission where you can just take one step without someone going, who's there? <laughs> it's kind of like Hitman Graves, you need to strategize in order to destroy your target, but you can tinker with your environment to decide what to do. So uh, it's a Hitman it's just, game for those you're a sniper like against Nazis. It's a hitman game for those who don't like playing Sniper as Elite old for people. Sniper Elite for Italia, oh, mamma mia! <laughs> Holiday 2020. Oh, a quick look at upcoming Nintendo Switch games. Montage. Gonna need a montage. A long dark. Oh, I, I already know this one. It's a survival uh, in the snow. Of a geomagnetic disaster. Chilling narrative awaits in the winter mute story. Post apocalyptic, too. Yeah. It looks like a it looks like a bit like a deformed Obi Wan for a second. <laughs> you will go to the hot system. Wait. Where you will freeze to death. PGA Tour 2K21. No. So is this is this is this version actually gonna function 2K on the Switch? Yeah. Or is it gonna be like WWE? <laughs> I'm just glad I didn't <coughs> Oh yeah, the Hades game! Yeah, it, lo it is really cool, I can tell you that. It's amazing, well, later today. It, it, again, it showcased how making it a temporary exclusive to the Epic Games Store was a terrible idea. Pretty much, yeah. Oh, hey, it's you! But I'm Wonderworld. Welcome to Wonderworld. Okay, total, totally not the Knights, we swear. It, yeah. it, it's really not Knights. I mean, okay, it looks like Knights in an aesthetic sense, yeah, but I, I it is not. Of aesthetic, uh, the, way, the way it plays looks more a bit like Billy Hatcher, just without the rolling mechanic. Well, we, we, we know it's coming to, we, we know it was coming to Switch. Yes. yes. I might just get the PlayStation version myself, but... You can also tell definitely the, the Square Enix budget uh, due to how, you know, the more detailed these are. Uh, Very flashy. More polished, too. You got a trophy. The frame rate for this version seems a bit iffy, though. Hopefully they'll work on that. Yeah. I forgot. When the status is coming out next year. I think we're gonna tell at the end anyway, so. Balan is waiting for you. Oh boy, Coop play, my favorite. Oh, March 26, 2021. There you go. Boy, 2021's gonna be stock full. Oh, Room Factory 5. Build a new life amidst a grand adventure in this heartwarming RPG. That's certainly an anime game. Well, well, Room Factory works as a cross between a traditional RPG and the Harvest Moon, sort of. But you, what about, isn't it Story of Seasons now? Whatever it's called. Your day-to-day will include harvesting crops and fishing in the river. You may even find a special someone to start dating. Also, yeah. boobs. Are. Oh boy! Could you be reverting? Get out! <laughs> so funny, boobs. Take down monsters. Begin your life anew in a fantasy world. You can literally live on a dragon. Oh! Right, cheap, sir. Look at that! Also released by Marvelous. Yeah. All right. This next title will be our last announcement. One more thing. All right. Let's see what. You have in yeah. store Moon for the last time. Oh, it's not High Moon, though. Moon It's Studios. not Bayonetta 3. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's oh, Ori! Oh. So, Ori and the Wheel of a Wisp? Yes, it is. Nice. Cool. And they broke the camera. <laughs> yes. How oh, very nice. Didn't take me to come to switch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I, 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 I forgot this. Uh, I forgot when it was supposed to come out. No, it already has come out on the Xbox. 
Honestly, if uh, if Moon is allowed to continue with this kind of Metroidvania artsy kind of game, I'm fine with it. Even if you would just want Available one new idea later for this. today. Today, it's out today. Now, <laughs> <laughs> shadow dropping like there's no tomorrow. Really? Oh, with a, oh. with a super sexy collector's edition. Oh Jesus. my! Whoa. That's uh... <laughs> oh, it's a soup. It's complete because it includes also the first game. Damn. That's all for today's new Aren't both games kind of short. Thank you for watching. Uh, very much right, Ben. Yeah, so, so they do take medium time, Lives. All right, I think you can end it now. Um, yeah. So yeah. Thoughts, Lives. Yeah, I, I I enjoyed it a lot. It was kind of short, already already expected a mini, and um, and overall. Um... Yeah, yeah, I, I, it was alright. I think the monster Hunter stuff did seem pretty interesting. I'm just not a huge fan of it. Um, there was, I mean, the, my, my favorite one to come out of all this was Balan Wonderland. It looks, it looks all very, looks very expressive, even even with the uh, limitations of the Switch. Although I'm just going to get it on PS4 anyway. Mm -hmm. So yeah, overall, decent, short, short but sweet uh, Nintendo Direct Mini, and I'll see you guys later. All right, I'll go next. Uh, yeah, this was very nice. Sure, you, I can still tell that uh, you know I could still tell about the lack of uh, of Bayonetta free news, but alas, that's a problem for Platinum Games itself. But for what they show, it's actually pretty good. Uh, again, uh, Monster the Monster Hunter spin-offs uh, looks great. Again, not just looks great to play, but also visually. Um, for the Switch. You can tell that there is actual budget with Capcom pouring to them. Um, the new Dis Gaia looks alright on par with the rest of the franchise. But again, the Dis Gaia titles, if you have no experience, are very time consuming. They require for you to you will, you know, grind a lot. Um, if you want to enjoy it 100%. So invest it only if you're sure about it. But they do fit the portability of the Switch. So it's probably the best platform recommended for you to play on them. Um, the the Switchers on Valor and Wonder World looks on par just with a bit of a frame rate drop, like I mentioned. Um, Although, Grant, to come to think of it, when we first saw it the first time, like, well... Wasn't that kind of more of a trailer thing rather than an actual game? I footage? wasn't. I wasn't there on the when they first showcased it, so I don't know what you guys thought so were. Um, the the Room Factory Five trailer looks all right. I'm not really into that series anyway, so okay. The fitness game is there. It probably has its fans, so I'm not gonna complain about it. Um, and lastly, you know, Ori and the Will of a Wisp. Again, it looks great, even on the Switch. You know, so, come to think of it, I don't recall it getting a physical release on the Xbox One. No, I think it did. Um, usually, if it was digital only, they would have announced and people would have complained before, Java. So, the la sometimes the lack of news is the confirmation of another. Um, but no, that's that's pretty much it. Again, short but really sweet, this one. Java. Yeah, this was a uh, fine enough direct for what it was advertised for. The Monster Hunter reveal stuff was very good. I mean, I'm not even that big a fan of the Monster Hunter stuff, and it kind of had me interested here. Disgaea 6, that was a nice uh, introduction here and there. Room Factory 5 looks nice. Um, definitely looking forward to Battle on Wonderland. Like I said, it's no replacement for Knights, but it still looks like it's going to be a good game here and there. The Ori news was very uplifting here and there. <laughs> oh boy, that cl that collector's edition is something fierce. Uh... Oh, a side note to the I forgot, forgot to mention also the uh, Sniper Elite Four DLC, where which apparently makes you go into Italy to kill. You know, if if you actually go to Italy, go kill actual fascists instead of a Nazi. That gives a, a bit of variety in the enemies, I guess. But whatever. Uh-huh, yeah, but yeah, Sniper Elite 4 looks interesting as well. All the games here looked interesting. With what little they had, they did a pretty good job in presenting them and making them look like interesting entries to be on the Switch and whatnot here and there. And I appreciate that. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, so we'll see you for the next uh, Direct. Uh, see ya. Right, see ya.